if turnout is really the critical issue, and if uh, women, and it sounds like especially single women, but women as a demographic are a critical issue, along with uh, young people and, uh, and uh, Latinos and so on, uh, what's just a quick rundown of a couple other issues that the Democrats might want to be a little bolder on if they want to, uh, you're saying that the, the outlook, you use the word abysmal, that's not something we, you know, that uh, people are going to like to hear. What are some other issues they can use to try to turn that around between now and the, uh, the election? Well, there are three issues, and we just did uh, work for Move On. There are three issues that really emerge in terms of get out the vote. Uh, one is education. Uh, Democrats are very, very upset about cuts in education. Uh, drop-off voters are very upset about cuts in education. They're appalled that people would try to uh, balance the budget on Head Start cuts, for example. Mm -hmm. So that's a very strong issue. A second very strong issue is the so-called war on women and both the reproductive health issues and uh, the economic issues for women, like equal pay, pregnancy discrimination. Now, what's interesting is this is another case where the Republicans are getting much cleverer. And so in response to the Hobby Lobby decision, they've come out with over-the-counter birth control, which sounds good until you're reminded that over-the-counter means you get no reimbursement from your insurance company, while men right. are still getting Viagra fully covered by their insurance companies. Um, so how does that make sense? Uh, and then the third issue that really stands out is populist middle class economics and tying tax fairness to good economic policies for the middle class, including protecting Social Security, frankly, uh, which is seen as an economic issue, uh, increasing minimum wage, et cetera. Uh, 